Now we're going to be looking at EDP and past paper questions and answers for 2011. Number one says, 1A, a, a computer system cannot function without users. <clears throat> List three other essential components of a computer system. Those would be hardware, software, and data. 1B, briefly explain each of the components listed in 1A above. What is a hardware? What is hardware? The physical components of the computer system, those that you can actually touch. And the software, what is it? Yes, a set of instructions given to the, to the computer. And of course, it is to allow the computer to work. Without it, the computer cannot work. Am I correct? All right. Data now, what is the data? The, the raw material or raw facts that you put in the computer, whatever you give the computer or put into the computer via input devices. Am I correct? Very good. 2A, state three of the tasks required to set up and maintain an electronic filing system. So this is two questions in one. So you have to talk about the setup part of it, then how to maintain it after you set it up. All right? I'm going to quickly go to the answer so you can read along with me. All right, so the task involved in setting up and maintaining an EFS are choose the documents you want to file. That's the first thing. Then you have to choose the location for the documents. Location means if you're going to put it on your desktop or in your documents on the computer or on a thumb drive or on an external hard drive, wherever you're going to be saving these. Then you create a folder and cut or copy the documents, then paste them in the folder. You can also have subfolders. That is a folder within a folder. Following? Because you can have like a particular subject, but you have different topics. So you can have subfolders for the different topics. All right? So you'll have the folder called mathematics. But within it, you have another folder called algebra, one called probability, things like that. Keep the file in terms of maintaining it now. You have to keep the system updated. Agree? Yes. Back up your files. And you see how many times this come up? You need to back up your file. When you talk about maintaining a file, you have to make sure you have a backup system. All right? Yes. So if you lose it, you have still have access to it. Keep whatever your electronic files are on in good working condition or order. All right. To be to be wanted you to list the file extens extensions for the following. Document, the extension for document is .doc and .docx. As well. So sometimes you will see .doc, sometimes you will see .docx. It depends on the version. All right? So for .jpg, what document would be saved with the extension .jpg? Photographs. Very good. The document picture now, what extension would be saved to a document? A picture document. .bmp. Very good. A document that is saved with the extension .exe. A file containing what? No, exe. No. No. Yes, file containing codes. Please make a note of it. This came last week. So they repeated the question. All right. Go 
Okay. Number three, formatting documents has become increasing, increasingly simpler with advancement of technology. However, there are certain basic formatting features which are required to produce acceptable business documents. List three of these features. When it comes down to business documents, you know it has to look a certain way. Am I correct? So you have to have like a certain type of heading used depending on what, you're, what document you're preparing, what business document you're preparing. What else would you take into consideration? The font size, the font type, the type of font. Sometimes they will tell you that it should be in Times New Roman, which is standard. Size 12. All right? Line space in some documents need to be in double space. All right? All right. Number four, three modes of transmitting documents electronically. They want you to list three modes of transmitting documents electronically. Yes. Email, fax, yes, FTP. Others could be via text. You could do it via your WhatsApp text. That's electronically. Yes, they repeat, you notice? So these are the things that you just make sure you know these things because every year they come with, come back with certain questions. Yes. B ask you to list the ways in which you can conduct a mail merge. How do you perform a mail merge? What's the first step? What's the first step? You have to click on the mailing staff. Very good. After that, click on the step by step wizard. After you click on the step by step wizard, what next? You choose the document you want, right? So if it's a letter that you're going to type, you click on letter, or whatever document it is, you would click on it. What next? Okay, you have to click on next, and then you will choose the type of document you want to use. Um, sometimes you have a document on this system already that you may want to use also be a document that you want to type from scratch mm -hmm. then you select next and you choose your recipient again it could be that you have you already have a list that you want to use or you create one from scratch so you type a new list so of course based on what you're doing you will select the op appropriate option you would then select next and then browse for your existing list or create your list, whichever one you choose. Then you save the list and it is important that you save the list because you're going to need it for the completion of the merge. You would write your letter or pull up the letter if it's a letter that you already have. But above that, you will insert your address block. Remember your greeting line the address block needs to be above the body of the letter. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then select next. And you can preview your letter. Of course, you have to insert the different things that you have created in your data file. So if it's name, usually in your address block, you'll have your name, the person's position, um, with the name of the company, yes, the address, and things like that. Good? So you'd insert those. So you can preview letters to see 
if it's fine or anything like that. Or if there's any error, you can also fix it. You have to go to the data source to fix your errors. You know that, right? Then you'd select complete merge and then select yes. Voila, you have your mail merge. All right? What you probably have to do because you, this is a theory question. So in terms of putting this in a multiple choice question, you just have to remember the steps in order. I believe they will ask a question that if they're asking a question on this with in multiple choice, they would more than likely ask you in terms of the steps. Number five wants you to list three, two types of legal um, documents, technical documents, and literary documents. All right, let me move up to the question. In in the day-to-day -day activities of a business. The secretary is expected to produce legal, technical, and literary documents. Now, as you was trying to remember literary documents, I couldn't remember the third one. List two examples of each of these documents. So when you're talking about legal documents, you're talking about wills, agreements, contracts, lease. When it comes down to technical documents, you're looking at specifications and bills of quantity. And when you look in the textbooks, these are what they give you. Give them back what they give you, please. Literary documents, we're talking about like actors, scripts, and plays, and it's not limited to these. Anything like this would be regarded as a literary document. All right? All right, these are just two examples. Moving on to number six, it says you're to rewrite the following document in your answer booklet, correcting all errors, circle all the corrections that you made. In this case, we would be circling it. We're going to go through it and try to find them. So we have March 15, 2011, the major, what should that be? Manager, Par Pearl Business Systems, One Parkway, Barbados. Yes. Dear sir, that's madam. Something is wrong here. What is wrong? It should be a slash instead of a dot, right? And it should have a capital M for madam and a comma after madam. Look at the body. Please be advised that computers purchased from your company on the 3rd of the 3rd, 2011 are defective. The systems are shutting down after 15, 15 minutes of use and are taking two hours to reboot. Let us look at that first paragraph. It should be advised so the D is missing from it. Good. Systems 15. You notice it has 15 so that TH should be removed. There should be a full stop where? At the end of defective, and a new sentence should begin at the, so that should be a capital T. Uh, am I missing anything else? Those are the errors in the first paragraph. Second paragraph. After several visits from your techniques, the problem still persists. It should be technician, not techniques. A decision was Therefore, taken by management to return the systems to you for a full refund as per our contract. Yes. Therefore, it's not separated, plus it's not that there. It's T-H-E-R-E-F-O-R-E. -E -E. All right? Thank you. Should be, there should be a full stop at the end of thank you. And your spade bullet should be a common F. Come up. How much you come after it? There should be a space. A space if, if the space is correct. It should be a common F and a full stop should come after faithfully. A, a comma should come after faithfully. Um there should be a space between general and manager. Look. And the manager should be a capital M. Do you see any other? 
All right, let me look and see if I missed any. No, I didn't miss any. All right, so let us look at the next question. It says, the concept of copyright involves several stakeholders. List two of these stakeholders. So yeah, you're talking about the producers, yes. The consumers or those who use it. The owner, the distributor, and the publisher. So these are the stakeholders that are involved where copyright is concerned. B says, state two procedures that should be followed to avoid plagiarism. Again, that question comes back. Plagiarism is coming back. Look out for it in the exam. All right, so do we need to go there again? No. All right, let us look at number eight. Identify the pro productivity tool that is most appropriate for creating advanced tabulation. And when you talk about advanced tabulation, what comes to mind? Excel, spreadsheet, right? So any spreadsheet software, Excel is just one type. All right, B, forms are important to the smooth operation of an office. Identify two types of forms used in an office. So you have printed form, yes, and you have application forms, you have contracts, your salary form that you have to fill out, your pay slip, statements, fax cover, like when you're sending a fax, you have to fill out a fax cover accompany the facts that you're sending and these are not the only types these are some forms that you'll find in an office all right number nine identify the shortcut keys used on the keyboard that are used to cut and paste within a document and to cut you know the shortcut is control x and to paste it's control v Number 10, the current family consists of the following members. Sita, James, and their two children, Jane and John. John and his wife, Margaret, have two children, Mary and Mark. Jane has one son, Todd. Then he says, copy the diagram below in your answer booklet and complete it to show the current family tree. So with Sita and James at the top, followed by John and Margaret. Who would follow John and Margaret? Mary and Mark. Very good. And to the right side, you have Jane. Who would follow Jane? Todd, indeed. And that's your answer there. 